Hey fur friends, welcome back to our channel, your cat and dog destination. In this video, I'm gonna be talking all things Nylabone and doing a full review of Nylabone products. So let's get into it. So as I mentioned before in previous videos, I've been working at a pet store now for over five years and I get a lot of questions about the Nylabone products. So I thought that this would be a great informational video for you guys. So to start off, I'm going to first talk about the product itself, and then in the second half of the video, I'm going to do a pros and cons of the Nyla bone, Bones. So to begin with, there are two lines basically within the Nyla Bone brand. First, there's the edible version, which the dogs can eat entirely, and then there's the non-edible versions, which are more like a chew, a chew, like a bone basically. So that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. Nyla Bone has a variety of bones that look like this and I don't have all of them with me so I'll put pictures up. They also have ones that are specifically for puppies, they have ones that are for teething, they have different um, animals like dinosaurs that you can get that have ridges on them. This Nyla bone has ridges on it that you can see so it's good for their teeth and they come in a variety of sizes depending on the size of your dog. And another thing that's important to note when looking at these is when you look on the packaging itself, it actually says, so there's a guide down here that shows you the level of durability it is. So for example, this is a Dura Chew Power Chew. So if you look here, this is gentle style and then there's all these little dots and then this is extreme chewing style. So this one is like the hardest material and they actually have on the back a little hole so you can feel what the product feels like and it's just hard plastic. So these ones, last a pretty long time. They're very, very durable. And then depending on, so if it's for a puppy, you would probably be looking towards more down here because it's kind of, it's a very hard material. So it would be hard on puppy teeth. So they have one specifically for puppies and then they have also softer ones. So, um, you know, if, if your dog doesn't, uh, can't handle chewing this hard of one, you can, there's a variety of options that you can pick from. They also have um, circle ones where you can put like peanut butter or different things in between to keep your dog occupied. Now with this product, a couple things I just wanted to go over is, I always usually recommend if people are in between sizes to always size up. So for example, this one is for a 50 pound dog, 50 pound plus, but I have a 25 pound dog and she loves these ones. And you can also get the smaller one. So like here's a style of one now, it's very, very chewed, but this is like for a 25 pound dog. And then I'll put a pictures of a couple of different sizes over here that um, so you can kind of see the different sizes that they come in. So I always recommend sizing up. And another thing is I would never leave your dog alone with a Nyla bone, just because if anything did happen, like they were able to get, you know, a chunk off and they swallowed it, then that could turn into a situation where you need to take them to the vet. Especially with the softer ones, they do break apart a lot more easier than like these harder ones. But if, if it's coming off in bits like this, then that is totally normal. It'll just be little bits of plastic that will come off and they can ingest that because that's a common question I get asked actually a lot is, oh, my dog, like I want to return it or I don't like that my dog is eating eating it and, you know, ingesting it. But when it's just the little tiny bits of plastic, they just end up um, just pooping them out because they're so, they're so small. If it was a giant chunk, then that's a different story. But the small little ones, you don't have anything to worry about. And so... Just to give you a, um, the price of these, this one I got today actually on sale, it was 30% off. And if you do look quite often, you can find um, them on sale. This one was $20 and I got 30% off of it. And so generally I tell people that when their dog starts chewing it, it'll start to look like this. So this, uh, this is just a different style one. Um, so it'll start to look like that with the edges and then once they start to like wear it down, so this one, because it's a bigger one, will last a lot longer. But for example, this one, this is how much my dogs chewed it. Now I have taken it away from them. They have chewed this far too much. It's garbage now because when it starts to get to this size, there is more risk of choking or, you know, something happening to it, them digesting it. So I, I throw this out now. So I just wanted to show this for reference that if your Nyla bones are look like this or have been chewed this much, it's time to throw them out and get new ones. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the pros and cons of Nyla bone. And I'm gonna start with the cons because it's always better to finish with the pros. 
And if you see me looking down, it's just because I have a list, so I don't want to. I want to make sure I don't forget anything. So, the first con could be that, as I mentioned, that um, they come in a few different flavors. That the artif artificial flavorings could um, cause an allergic reaction for your dog. Um, another one, which is kind of a funny one. So when your dog is like gnawing on the bone. Fred wants it. <laughs> it's not the bone. It can make a loud sound when um, they're chewing on it. Like it, it's very loud. And if you're trying to watch TV, it can be slightly annoying if they're doing it for an extended period of time. Another thing could be, for example, if your dog chews it to the point where it's this like um, small and it's got a pointed edge that you can see, then if they're chewing on that, that could cut their gums, cut the roof of their mouth, and then could cause bleeding. Another thing um, with chewing on these, if your dog is chewing very, very aggressively, um, it can cause a bit of like the gums to bleed. Um, when, my, when that usually happens with my dog, I'll just take it away and then um, I know that they've been using it. It's great for their teeth, but they've just been using it a little bit too much. So that's another, um, can be seen as a con. So as you can see, like I had mentioned, see, so his gums are bleeding a little bit. So at this point, I would probably just take it away from him for the night. Oh, he doesn't like that because he's he's chewed on it a little too much. Um, another con is that, as you can see, like this, the edges get really rough and then they do ingest some of the plastic. That would be the biggest complaint that I hear from customers is people don't want their dog chewing on plastic. And... What I do say to them when they do say that is, I can totally respect that, I totally understand. My personal opinion is I would much rather them be chewing on something like this that does have give to it, because clearly it does you know, break down, compared to say an antler, which has no give, which is extremely hard on your dog's teeth. And at least with these, there's like, you can pick the, like, the strength of the bone. So that does give you a little bit of opportunity to, you know, be the one making that decision whereas when you get a nyla bone or sorry when you get a um antler they're just they're all the same hardness unless you get the marrow it's it's open a little bit but it's still very hard on your dog's teeth another one is um the circle one and i'll put a picture of it right here i've i don't give my dogs that one because i've like seen pictures of it getting stuck on around their like depending on the size of the dog and the size of the circle it getting stuck on their jaw so that could be seen as a hazard um, with the bone another con would be that when your dog is chewing on a bone especially with bigger dogs and they're holding it like this with their paws um, the rubbing of this can actually if you have a, a dog that has not double coated or very very thick hair if it's thinner hair it can actually rub their hair off so for example my big dog Fred he has been gnawing on them for so long that I eventually have to take it away from him because it will start to like leave a mark and now he actually has like a little spot where there's less hair because when he holds it it like he's rubbing on it and then it's um, rubbing his hair off so that that's definitely one thing I don't love about it that's all the cons that I can um, that I personally see and have experienced or have been given that feedback of, um, of the Nyla bone. Now moving on to the pros. Um, I am personally a huge fan of Nyla bones. All my dogs absolutely love them. They go crazy for them. It's such a good distraction. So I have a number of pros that I will also be referring to. So one of the first ones is the variety of sizes that it comes in. So as you can see, like you can get one, like the giant one or even one this big, and then you can also get one this one, this size, and then they have even smaller. And I just like that there's a variety of options for puppies, for you know any stages of your dog's life. Um, and it also comes in a variety of, like I mentioned, chewing strengths which is great too, because then you don't have to worry, you know, if your dog has weaker teeth, then you can get them the softer one. So there's there's a lot of flexibility and choice with the Nyla bones. Um, 
Another pro is the flavoring. So they do have a variety of flavoring that most dogs do generally like. Now my dogs just always gravitate towards the original, but they're, like I said, there's that option available to you. Um, there's also some that have like the grooves here and then some that are just like flat bones. So that's also nice. It depends on what you're looking for for your dog. Um, another pro is that it's amazing for cleaning the teeth. Like my dog's teeth look so good because he's always chewing on them and it's just it really helps to keep the plaque at a minimum and I just find that it's it's been really great for their teeth um and another thing that is is it's very cost effective so they're long lasting so you're buying one and then it's lasting you a number of months whereas you know if you get like something that's edible it doesn't last you as long and there's a lot of durability with this and with the, the flaking off that I mentioned as a con that is a very common one, I don't personally see it as a con because when they just ingest the little pieces, like I mentioned before, they just poop them out. There's no harm to them in ingesting them because it's in such a small amount and they are very durable. So I personally am a huge fan. I think it's a great product. Um, my dogs love them and I think that you should give them a try. And I'd love to hear in the comments if you've given your dogs any Nyla Bone before, which one, which is your favorite. If there's any that I should try that I haven't seen, I would love to hear that. So Sorry for the not so great lighting, but I thought it would be fun if I showed a couple clips of my dogs chewing on their Nyla Bones. So I'm gonna insert those right here. Chewing on your bones. Oh, they're so cute. Look at babies. And then there's another one right beside Ava. Before we end the video, we wanted to do a scoring of the Nyla bones. So we plan to do a lot more review videos. And if you have anything you would like us to review, leave it in the comments and I will gladly do that but we want to kind of make a scale of what we'll use as a guide when we're giving our reviews. So I've come up with three things right now and if anyone has any suggestions, I'm also open to that as well. So we have durability of the product, the cost of the product and the effectiveness of the product and what it's specified to do. And I'm gonna give it a score out of 10. So for durability, I'm going to give it a 10 because durability is up to what you determine as what, how durable you want the item. Do you want it to be super, super durable? Do, um, is that what you're looking for? Then that's perfect. If it's a little less and you don't want it as durable, you have that flexibility to make that decision. So that's why I'm giving it a 10. And then cost, the cost point does vary depending on how, like this is going to be less than this. So I'm also going to give that a 10 because especially you can get these products, like I said, on sale. So the, the cost is, is very, um, you know, it's a very good price point. And then three, effectiveness. I'm going to give it a nine because I do want to be fair that they do what they're supposed to do, but there can be some cons, like I mentioned before, that like nothing is perfect. So I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 for effectiveness. But overall, I am a huge fan of Nyla Bone. I think they're are great products and I just really think that if you haven't tried it for your dog you should definitely give it a try and let me know how it goes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful and informative for you guys. If you have any questions leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer them. I hope you all have an amazing day and I will see you next time.